In this video, I'll show you how to set up LunarVim as a Python IDE. We'll go over how to set up syntax highlighting with TreeSitter, a language server for completion and diagnostics, formatting so you can format your code, a linter like Flake 8 to enforce style guidelines, and how to change your virtual environment from within LunarVim. To get started, let's open up our LunarVim config at .config elvim config .lua. And the first thing we'll do is add some config to make sure the Python parser is installed for TreeSitter which will provide things like syntax highlighting and indentation. LunarVim will automatically set up the Pyrite language server for completion and diagnostics. To make sure it's installed, you can enter Mason, and Pyrite should be in the list of installed language servers. Next, we'll set up a formatter. In this case, we'll be using black. To install black, you can enter Mason install black. And you should see that black was successfully installed. We'll also add the following config to make sure that it's set up. We can set up a linter like Flake 8 in the same way. Make sure you install it with Mason first. And add some similar config. We'll also pass some arguments to the linter to customize it further. In this case, we'll be ignoring a particular style guide that Flake 8 provides. The last thing we'll do is add a couple of plugins for the environment switcher. The first plugin is the actual environment switcher plugin. The second will make the UI look a little bit nicer. We'll also add some config to restart the language server after switching to a new virtual environment. And a key binding to call the switch environment function. And that's pretty much it for the config. Now let's open up a Python file and take a look at some of the features. The first thing you should notice is the full featured syntax highlighting. As you type, completion options should show up and diagnostics should be available from the Pyrite language server. We can format our code with black by entering space LF. Flake 8 diagnostics should be available whenever your code is violating a particular guideline. For instance, we have too many blank lines in this case. And you'll be able to switch out your virtual environment by typing space capital C C and you can change this in the config. Those are just the bindings that I set in the config. And you can choose between any of the virtual environments that show up in this list. In this case, I'll choose testenv. And you'll notice that testenv is now active and we can see that in the status line. And that's pretty much it. You can find the complete config over at starter.elvim in the LunarVim organization. Make sure you check out the Python IDE branch. I'll also leave a link in the description for a blog post that you can use as a reference as well. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and I'll try to respond to as many as possible. You can also join the community on Discord for more discussion. If you would like to support me and my channel, consider joining the channel as a member or sponsoring me over on GitHub, or check out the donation page at chrisatmachine.com slash donate. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.